today today today's video is going to look a little bit different lots of startups rely on youtube for growth understanding how the algorithm works is key for getting growth on youtube there are other videos about the youtube algorithm out there but none of them are like this one I will explain the YouTube algorithm so that everyone understands it as a cartoon. Understanding the YouTube algorithm means you will understand what it takes to get growth and maybe even go viral on YouTube. This is Raw Startup. I'm obsessed with numbers. When we built Vivino, the world's largest wine app with over 37 million users, I check the numbers all the time, every single day every single hour to understand the growth better. I've spent 12 months on YouTube and have been obsessed by the numbers here on YouTube as well. The obsession with numbers combined with listening to and learning from the smartest people here on YouTube means that I now have a really good understanding of how the algorithm actually works. The core of the algorithm is pretty simple. This does not mean that it's easy to go viral. It is very, very hard. I can help you understand how it works so you know exactly what you need to improve in order to go viral on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. When I started out here on YouTube, my videos were not great. Actually, they were pretty bad. Take a look at this one. Not amazing. Not my finest hour. There was zero growth. I was all flat. This went on for months. Nothing really happened. I got some advice from some incredibly smart people on YouTube and started to really understand how YouTube works. And things started to change rapidly. Now I'm seeing real growth as I understand YouTube so much better. First thing to understand on YouTube is that most traffic is generated by suggestions, not search. Search is a great contributor to growth. But the only way to get massive growth on YouTube is through suggestions. And the key to those suggestions is the YouTube algorithm. Okay, let's get started. Basically, the YouTube algorithm is like a broker that tries to get as much as possible out of the video by finding the right audience for your video. It's all about the right audience. Let's call the broker Mr. Algo. We will do a couple of examples. We will look at it chronologically starting with day one, the big day of the launch of the video. On that day, you give the video to Mr. Algo. The two currencies that Mr. Algo works with are minutes and impressions. Minutes is pretty straightforward. It's the number of minutes that a video plays on YouTube, also called watch time. Impressions are very different. Impressions are how often your video is promoted by the YouTube algorithm. Every time your thumbnail is shown as a suggested video or somewhere else on YouTube, that is one impression. This is the key to getting real growth on YouTube. The more impressions you get, the more growth you get. Okay, on day one, the video is launched and subscribers, friends and fanboys watch the video. We get a few views and thereby minutes. In this example, a total of 500 minutes on day one. With 500 minutes in the back, Mr. Algo goes to the first exchange. There are two exchanges. First, Mr. Algo goes to the basic exchange. At the basic exchange, Mr. Algo exchanges minutes into impressions. You know the thumbnail impressions when the video is suggested by the YouTube algorithm. The question is, how many impressions will Mr. Algo get? This varies a little bit. The exchange rate depends on the basics of the video. Usually one minute will get you everything from half an impression and sometimes all the way up to three impressions. The basics of the video are all the things that everyone tells you about all the time. The things that are important for a video to perform well on YouTube. Factors like total watch time in minutes, views, likes, comments, subscribers added by video, channel subscribers. All things that indicate a good video. If all the indicators are good, you will get a high exchange rate. If the indicators are low, you will get a low exchange rate. This means that in most cases, the exchange rate increases over time as the video gets more minutes and likes and so on. The basic exchange will not make your video go viral, but rather something that will slowly improve the number of views that a video gets. It's the second day of the video, so let's say we get a 1.5 impression for every minute. 
That gives us 750 impressions for 500 minutes. The second exchange is the viral exchange, and it exchanges impressions back into minutes. It is very, very different. Mr. Algo has to be really, really smart here to maximize the views. It's all about finding the right audience for the video. The viral exchange consists of thousands, even millions of different groups of people. Mr. Algo wants to find the groups of people that give you most minutes for every impression. Every group of people may or may not be interested in watching your video. The interest is expressed in two factors. A click-through rate, meaning how many click on the video for every impression that's shown. This can be zero all the way up to 10, 15%. Every click then generates a view of the video. And for every view, there are a number of minutes. So basically two things, click-through rate and minutes. Okay, let's do an example of a group that has very little interest in watching a video. Only 1% of all the impressions click on the video. So we have a click-through rate of 1%. With 750 impressions, that gives us 7.5 views. As the group really isn't that interested in the subject, they only watch two minutes of the video. Two times 7.5 is 15. So basically we get 15 minutes out of the 750 impressions. That's not great. Another example will be a group that loves the subject and the video. In this case, 12% click on the video and we get 90 views. As they love the video, they almost watch the entire video, nine minutes out of the 10 minute video. In this case, we get 810 minutes for the 750 impressions. Mr. Algo's job here is to find the best group for this video to maximize the minutes watched. Let's assume that Mr. Algo manages to find an average group. They give us a 4% click-through rate and they watch the video for five minutes. In this case, we get 30 views and 150 minutes. So the 750 impressions are exchanged for 150 minutes. Okay, the day is over and we add the 150 minutes to day two. The next day, Mr. Algo goes back to the basic exchange and it's a good day. He now has more minutes, likes and comments on the video. He now gets an exchange rate of two impressions for every minute. And now he has 300 impressions. Then he's off to the viral exchange with his 300 impressions. Really wanted to get the most out of it. With 300 impressions, he finds a small group that really loves the video. Gets 7% click through and they watch it for seven minutes. Mr. Algo leaves the exchange on day three with 21 views and a total of 147 minutes for the 300 impressions. The 147 minutes are added to day three and I think you can see where this is going. Let's do one final day really quickly. He gets 2.2 impressions for the 145 minutes, goes to the viral exchange with 323 impressions. He finds another group almost as good as yesterday with a 6% click through and they watch for seven minutes. He now has 19 views and 136 minutes. At this point, it's pretty clear that this video is not going to go viral. It has pretty much flattened out. Although it doesn't go completely viral, there's a really good chance that this will go up again later as the basic exchange will slowly improve. This is how most of my videos go and most of other videos too. I launch them and over time they grow and grow because of the basic exchange. Here's an example of my OKR video. It goes up and grows, but doesn't go viral. Over time, the basic exchange pays off and things grow over time. Now let's take a look at a video that has much more potential. A 20 minute video that has real viral potential. The launch is a success and the video is longer and better, and we start out with 1,500 minutes on the first day. Mr. Algo goes to the basic exchange with 1,500 minutes. As the video starts a little bit stronger, he gets 1.7 ratio at the basic exchange. He now goes to the viral exchange with 2,550 impressions. At the viral exchange, things are different as the video has a higher click-through rate and is longer. Mr. Algo searches all over the viral exchange and finds a good group. They have a click-through rate of 5% and watch the video for nine minutes. That gives Mr. Algo 1148 minutes for day two. 
Not quite as good as day one, but almost. We move on to day three, and Mr. Elga goes to the basic exchange. We've added a lot of minutes, likes, and comments. Things are looking good, really good. Instead of a 1.7, we now get a 1.9 at the basic exchange. He now goes to the viral exchange with 2,181 impressions. Things have improved slightly here as the thumbnail has been changed to improve the click-through and he finds a group with 7% click-through and they watch the video for a full 11 minutes. He now gets an exchange rate of 0.77. He ends up with 1,679 minutes for day three. As you can see, things are looking up and the video is moving in the right direction. Now let's go to day four. Basics have improved and again, we end up with an exchange rate of two from the basic exchange. We go to the viral exchange with 3,358 impressions. At the viral exchange, things also improve slightly as click through is 8% and minutes go up to 12 minutes. This video is now on the way to virality with 3,224 views on day four. This is what happens when things go crazy. These metrics get stronger and stronger and the growth keeps going. It can keep going for days, weeks and months. At some point it does stop again. That is when you run out of groups of people that the video is relevant for at the viral exchange. At that point, click-through rate goes down and number of minutes go down. The video will get fewer and fewer views. How many views a video that goes viral gets depends on how big the audience is. If it's a niche video, it could be 100,000 views. If it is an insanely cool mainstream Mark Rober video, that means over 70 million views. This is the basic mechanism. But what does it all mean? It does mean that channels with lots of subscribers have a substantial advantage because of the basic exchange. They're able to make take-ups faster. However, because of the viral exchange, any fantastic video can go viral. It just has to be amazing. We saw that when a completely new channel from Janelle Eliana got millions of views and one million subscribers in only one week. This can happen if you hit the bullseye at the viral exchange. If you want a shot at explosive growth on YouTube as a new YouTube channel, you need to focus everything on the viral exchange as that is the way to really get a video to take off. So how do you do that? It's actually very simple. Not easy, but simple. You need to improve two things. The click-through rate for the thumbnail, which means both the thumbnail and the title. Minutes per view, keep people engaged and do longer videos. On the latter, there is a reason why most videos are plus 15 minutes now. You cannot win on the viral exchange if your video is shorter. Shorter videos do not go viral anymore. Okay, quick recap. First, there's the basic exchange. To get the most of that, you need your basic covered. Things like total watch time in minutes, views, likes, comment, subscribers added by video, and channel subscribers. Get the basics right and you'll get some good growth, but the video will not go viral. The viral exchange is only ruled by two factors. The click-through rate on the thumbnail that promotes your video and the minutes per view. Get those two right and your video could well go viral. I've had lots of videos work well on the basic exchange, like most other people, giving me solid growth, but not virality. A special thanks to you for watching this video to the end, as all the minutes watched increased my chances of hitting the viral exchange and going viral with this video. That's it. If you want more videos like this one to help you build your amazing startup, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.